Praise God. Amen. My name is Ern Larry Mtsebi. I'm from Rainbow Christian School. I'm in P6 class. I want to share with you Jesus through the entire Bible. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is the birth of life. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's our high priest. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he's the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he's our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. Amen. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. Amen. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra and Nehemiah, he's the rebuild of the broken down walls of human Amen. life. In Esther, he's our Mordecai. In Job, he's our ever living redeemer. Amen. In Psalms, he's our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's our wisdom. Amen. In Song of Solomon, he's our loving bridegroom. Amen. In Isaiah, he's the prince of peace. Amen. In Jeremiah, he's the righteous branch. In Lamentations, he's the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel is the wonderful four-faced man. Amen. In Daniel is the fourth man in life's fiery furnace. Amen. In Isaiah is the faithful husband forever married to the backslider. Amen. In Joel is the baptized of the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. In Amos is a burden bearer. Amen. In Obadiah is mighty to save. Amen. In Jonah is a great foreign missionary. Amen. In Micah is the messenger of beautiful Amen. feet. In Nahum is our strength and shield. In Habakkuk is God's evangelist. Amen. In Zephaniah is our savior. Amen. In Haggai is the restorer of God's lost heritage. Amen. In Zachariah is the fountain opened up in the house of Amen. David for sin and uncleanliness. Amen. In Malachi is a stone of righteousness rising with healing in his wings. Amen. In Matthew, Jesus Christ is the king of the Jews. Amen. In Mark, he's the servant. Amen. In Luke is the son of man, feeling what you feel. Amen. In John is the son of God. Amen. In Acts is the savior of the world. Amen. In Romans is the righteousness of God. Amen. In First Corinthians is the rock, the father of Israel. Amen. In Second Corinthians is the triumphant one, giving victory. Amen. In Galatians is your liberty, he say you free. In Ephesians is the head of the church. Amen. In Philippians is your joy. Amen. In Colossians is your completeness. Amen. And Second Thessalonians is your hope. In First Timothy is your faith. Amen. In Second Timothy is your stability. Amen. In Titus is truth. Amen. In Philemon is your benefactor. Amen. In Hebrews is your profession. Yes. In James is the foundation of your faith. Wow. In First Peter is your example. Amen. Second Peter is your purity. Yes. In First John is your life. Yes. Second John is your pattern. Amen. Third John is your motivation. In Jude is the foundation of your faith. Amen. And in Revelation, he is your coming king. Yeah. He's the first and the last, the Amen. beginning and the end. He's the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and the manager of all times. Yours was, yours is, yours will be. Unmoved. Unchained, undefeated, and never undone. He was loose and brought healing. He was fierce in his pain. He was dead and brought life. He was persecuted and brought freedom. Amen. He's risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. Amen. The world can't understand him. The armies can't defeat him. The schools Amen. can't explain him and the leaders can't ignore him. Herod couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. Nero couldn't crush him. Hitler couldn't silence him. Yeah. Hitler can't replace him. He's alive. Wow. Love, longevity and more. His goodness, Amen. kindness, gentleness and God. Amen. He's holy, righteous, mighty, powerful and pure. His wings are right and his word is eternal. Amen. His will is unchanging and his mind is on me. He's my redeemer. He's my savior. He's my God. He's my peace. He's my joy. He's my comfort. He's my Lord.